Vancouver to the pages of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Magazine, Lindsey Vaughn is one of America's breakout stars of the 2010 Winter Olympics. Screaming, but um, I have moments that I, I have to, you know, look at my medal and yeah, just it's real. It's yes, it, I have it. Yeah, <laughs> you do have it, and you have this, and yep. uh, and so now, what kind of shin injury was it? I kept hearing shin injury. What what did you do yeah, to your shin? So it, it was like the whole like shin muscle. Um, I had a deep bone uh, muscle bruise, and um, the nature of ski racing is that you know when, when you're having your boot on and you have it buckled up really tight. Let me move this away from your mic. Okay. Well, I have to take it off. Okay, take I it off. I don't your hair up, though. You got the word. Okay. Just take, All right. take it off. Try it again. Okay. The whole... Take now two. it's your hair. Can we cut it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wouldn't look as good as you yeah, do with yeah, that haircut. Yeah. Oh, yes, you would. Um, <laughs> So let's try it again. The whole, the, okay. it better be good now after all this. What's the point of the shin muscle? Okay. Well, with ski racing, you know, you have your boot on, and all all your weight is on your on the front of your shin when you're skiing, and right. especially when the course is bumpy, you have so many g-forces going on yeah. that particular spot, which right. is. Um, which was really painful for me. So I'm just, I'm so happy and thankful that I made it through um, the Olympics, you know, that I was able to actually compete, you know, a, a couple days before I was, I had no idea whether I would even be able to ski. So um, for everything to happen the way it did, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Yeah, well, you should be. But I mean, so, so were you really, because it looked like you were skiing on one leg at, at a certain point. It looked like you were putting all your weight on another leg. Yeah, I mean, at the finish, you know, I, uh, that last jump was really hard for me. You know, it gave me a lot of trouble in the, in the training runs just because when I land, it hurt so bad on my shin. Mm -hmm. um, so I think maybe it was subconsciously, you know, I, I, I tried to get off of it, but I tried to ski as lonely as I could because you can't really ski downhill with one ski. No, I mean, I can, but most people can't. Um, now, uh, the, the rivalry that supposedly is going on, is that, is that a, something that is just natural in sports with, with Julia, or is it, is it just kind of... It, not real or does that help spur you on or um I mean we've been competing against each other since we were like 10 years old mm -hmm. so I mean it's it's hard to sometimes separate you know um your on-hill competition with off-hill but um you know I support her like I support all the other USD mm -hmm. members um and I was really proud of her what she was able to do mm -hmm. in these Olympics so um you know all I'm gonna do is keep supporting her like yeah. I have been and and good yeah, good. All right, and you brought a gift for the audience that uh, is very sweet. Wait, do you see what she got you? Okay. Ready? Yes. It's a Lindsay Vaughn t-shirt! I love that t-shirt. I love that. Okay. All right, well, I know uh, everyone saw this shot of you holding the flag. Uh, at the Olympics. This is a beautiful shot of you. But what they didn't see, and I love that shot, they didn't see this, didn't get as much uh, airplay, is, is the... Uh, you didn't get... <laughs> give you another chance to, to, to get the message out there. I'm just trying to, it's an outreach of love is what it is. It's not, I mean, some people call it world domination, but I just want an outreach <laughs> of love. And so I got you a gift that you can uh, bring. Okay. <laughs> A little bit. They, those I are, think these are the next fashion statements. Yeah, I just uh, I just waxed them a little earlier. Um, <laughs> do you wax skis? Is that right? I don't. I have, uh, it's my my service man does that. No, uh, <laughs> my service man waxed them also. Um, we'll be back with Lauren Graham.